This is Chris from Quadshot Software with another in the series of videos about Open Tickets Community Edition. In this video I'm going to show you where the various images that you upload to various parts of your website that use Open Tickets end up getting displayed on your website to your clients. This will also show where some of them get used in the ticket that your client will be provided with having purchased something for an event that you have been selling. To start with, let's go and have a look at what we've got in the media library. You can see here we've just got four very simple images with a one, two, three and four on them. This will make it much easier for me to show you which parts of the site they end up getting displayed in. I've already created an event for selling and so let's start by having a look at the ticket and of course you must remember you probably remember that this will be in the products section of WooCommerce and there is the ticket I set up. Can you see here to the left of the, t of the name of the ticket is that number one image and if I open the event, the, the ticket for editing. If we scroll down, you can see here that the number one is set within the ticket as the featured image. Let's now have a look in the venue section. And here you can see the venue already set up, a test venue called My Venue. Let's have a look at its settings. OK, if we scroll down here to the event area, you can see that we have one event area set up called My Venue Area. Assign the regular ticket and this image, the image for the event area, for the area within the venue, is set to number 2. Over to the right, for the featured image which relates to the whole of the venue, we've set in image number 3. And scrolling down the page a little way in venue information, you can see we've set an address in there. This is very important because when your client displays their ticket for printing, this venue information will be used to produce a map showing where the venue is. Having looked at the venue, now let's have a look at the event. You can see we have one test event there called My Event. Let's have a look at its settings. And if we scroll down the page, the important thing here is the featured image for the event. And we have assigned the image number 4 as the featured image for the event. So let's briefly recap. The featured image for the ticket, the WooCommerce product, was number 1. The image assigned for the venue area, the event area, was image number 2. The image assigned as the featured image for the whole of the venue, and remember a venue can have more than one event area, but the featured image for the whole of the venue was image number three. And here you can see the featured image for the event is image number four. So let's go and visit the website and see what it looks like. OK, I'm here in the home page of the website and I'm going to bring up the event calendar. And you can see here on March the 21st there is an event called My Event currently showing high availability of 149 tickets available for sale 
and the image there is number four. So the image that you would like to appear on your calendar within the day of the event needs to be the featured image for the event. In this case, image number four. Let's click on it and see what it shows. When the event is displayed, the large image at the top is once again the featured image for the event. So in this case, image number four. Below that image will be the name of the event, in this case, simply my event, the date of the event, and the time of the event. Underneath the details of the event is a second image, and in this case, it is the image of the event or venue area that we set up. So in this case, number two, it's a smaller image than the one at the top, but the image here underneath the event title shows the image we have assigned as the venue or event area. If we decide to purchase a ticket, let's say we want to buy one ticket, we will click reserve to reserve that ticket. It said it's reserved it, now let's proceed to cart, proceed to the cart. And here in the top of the cart, you can see in the second column is an image of the ticket. This is the featured image of the ticket, the number one is the featured image. So this is where your ticket displays. In here is an X uh, icon that allows you to remove that event from your cart. What you would then do is fill in the details and uh, go ahead and purchase depending upon what method has been set, whether it's been PayPal or whether it's been uh, one of the methods that relies on the client getting money to you you seeing that money come in and then marking the, the ticket in WooCommerce orders as complete. If, they choose, if you choose to use PayPal and they complete the transaction with PayPal, the system will automatically mark the order as complete. If they choose a method such as direct bank deposit or mailing a check, clearly you have to wait until those arrive and you have the funds in your account. You would then go back into the dashboard in WooCommerce orders, identify the order, and there is an icon to the right of the order, uh, which is a tick box. And if you click on that, it marks it complete. Let's now have a look at the emails that the client buying ticket get sent. And you can see here there are two emails. The first email, which is the lower one, in the, is sent to the client when they purchase the ticket. It will basically tell them that the ticket has been purchased and give them instructions as to where to send the money if sending a check or the bank account details if they need to transfer funds to the account. The one at the top is when the order is complete. If we'll have a look and see what it looks like. You can see there in the email it says that the order is complete. Tells you what the ticket is and you can see a link here marked ticket and if you click that to view this ticket. Now I already have that link open. And this is the ticket that your client would see by uh, clicking on that link. And you can see here on the ticket, there are two images. The left-hand image is image number four. And if you remember, that is the featured event image. To the right is image number three. And if you remember, number three is the venues, the overall venues featured image. Uh, 
okay the system was a little bit slow and now you can see uh, clearly in here you can see the venue with its address and a map showing the location of your particular venue. Let's go back. Okay, and there is the complete ticket. You have a link at the top left-hand side of the screen to allow you to download the PDF and with the event image, the venue featured image and a map showing the location of uh, where uh, the venue is actually located.